Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for August 9th, 2021. Well, hey everyone, I hope you had a fantastic weekend, got all rested up. We're likely to see a little bit more volatility this week, just simply because we have quite a few earnings coming our way. So how about we settle in, buckle up, let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at some of these stocks and see if we can gain a little bit of information about how we might want to approach the market for today. Now, Friday was kind of an interesting day in that we gapped up and then we just kind of went nowhere. As a matter of fact, in that gap up open yesterday uh, on Friday, notice that that was the whole move of the day. We ended up just kind of chopping around here the rest of the day. And this morning we're looking at a little bit of bearishness in the Dow to pull back. So no harm, no foul here, but there is, you know, just a little bit of concern because we did, well, here, let me just notice, uh, point out that a pretty light volume here on the day um on friday and we've we've had some lighter volume coming in so a little bit of concern going on on that front but if we take a look at um price action levels in here if we were to pull back into this range and hold in here we could easily see this set up as a very bullish pattern here in the chart on the diamonds however if we were to break down below that price support then we end up back in this chop zone that was really challenging and very wide you know nearly 500 points in this move so if we pull back into here and hold i think we're okay if those bulls step in if we drop down into this area down in here i would have just a little bit of concern that things could become a little bit choppy again. So watch that closely. Now, overall, we're gonna be in great shape as long as we hold this support. So don't get the idea that I'm saying run for the doors or anything along that those lines. This is a bullish chart, the trend remains bullish. We do have some really lofty valuations and one of these days, those bears are going to attack. So we wanna be prepared, but for now, we're looking pretty bullish here overall. If we take a look at the SPY, SPY is also looking for a little bit of pullback. And once again, if I go to an intraday chart, 15 minute chart, notice that after the gap on Friday morning, we kind of just were range bound and stuck. Didn't really do much of anything. As a matter of fact, I made the joke um, to the right way options room. I um, had to leave for just a little bit. I came back and I said, hey, who shut the market off? because we just really weren't moving. It was it was if we kind of had this buildup to that, to that jobs report, and once the jobs report came out, everybody decided to just take the rest of the week off, I guess. So um, kind of a light day. But as you can see here, we're getting just a little tiny pullback right now in the SPY. But once again, as long as we hold that support right there, I think we're in good shape. Where the concern might come into play is if we were to, once again, drift back down into this wide ranging consolidation zone, that could be a little bit of a problem. But this only gets bearish if we, uh, or raises concerns if we were to break below um, that level of support. And right now, it doesn't look like that. Um, is any in the cards at all but we do want to kind of keep in mind that um, we've been up a long time here in the market and so and we we also want to remember just how quickly that sentiment can change like we saw right over here with that big pullback um, in the market so if those bears were decide were to decide to attack just remember these big bump down they're pretty painful and these might be warnings of, you know, a, a sell-off to come. So kind of keep your eye carefully on that. We haven't had any blow-off top or anything like that, but there is that concern that these lofty valuations could 
you know, can suddenly um, have that sentiment shift. So watch that closely, but stay along the trend until the trend breaks. Let's take a look at our QQQ. QQQ also very, very positive, and we're trying to see those Qs move higher. One of the things we've been noticing um, quite a lot lately is when the Dow moves down, the Qs move up. When the Qs move down, the Dow moves up. As a matter of fact, you can see that correlation occur even in the intraday. Um, where we, it's just like we have some kind of system built into the um, algorithmic, algorithmic programming um, in those computers to um, keep something moving up. And it's kind of an interesting dynamic that we've been witnessing here lately. And um, watch this closely. We have QQQ heading up this morning, though we have the SPY and, and IW, or um, the SPY and, and the diamonds looking just a little bit lower. So watch that close. Technically speaking, we're in great shape here in the queues, holding on to this price support. And although we didn't make that new record high, um, on Friday, we we settled back after making it on Thursday, and now we're pushing back up here this morning. So we have an upside trend. Everything uh, continues to look very very bullish here in the Nasdaq. And then if we take a look at IWM, now IWM, IWM continues to be a little bit of a problem for us, and that is because we remain under the 50-day moving average. We had a good solid attack of it on Friday once again, and notice we've just put in all of these attacks up here to try and break through have been able to do it just yet and now we're getting a little bit of follow through to the downside this morning after putting in this long-legged doji so i don't think we're out of the woods here with iwm um, we'll want to keep a pretty close eye on that let's take a look at our vix here this morning now i've been mentioning the vix as being just a little bit of a a concern but I got to say, we're in pretty good shape at this point. Uh, notice that we finally broke down here that little upside trend and we failed our 50 day moving average finally. So what we want to watch for, we could see with the, with the little bit of pressure that we have in the market right now, a rally back up to retest that area as resistance. And if it holds as resistance, we're, we could be in great shape and pull back. So, um, fear dropped out of the market here a little bit on Friday and got to say we got to give that up to the bulls so looking pretty good here if we take a look however at our here let me move down here our T2122 was really interesting with the strength that we saw in the Dow and the SPY um, setting those new records we didn't really see a big move to the upside here in our t2122 we did move up but obviously we didn't really break up into that bearish reversal area so what that means is we still have some upside opportunity should those bulls find reason to move along to the upside and we have a pretty good size move to the downside if those bears should find something to grab on to as we move along here um interesting kind of interesting chop that's been going on in here and um kind of stuck in this little bit of a mid-range here so let's just kind of stay on our toes here and watch this closely it's it's one of those things with dropping volume and um kind of the lack of market breadth that we've been seeing here lately um, just gives me a little concern. And speaking of market breadth, let's take a look at T2101, the market breadth in, um, index. Notice that um, absolute breadth just, wow, it, it just wasn't there on Friday. Um, although we gapped and held on that number, it just wasn't there. So we want to watch that closely here in in the market we don't want to see this on a selling wave spike up a lot um but watch that close um how much longer we can stay with these unbelievable divergences um in the market um uh well here let me just show that again um if we take a look at the diamonds the spy and the qqq and compare it to market breadth um uh, not good 
not good at all. And if we were to um, also take a look at, um, whoops, that's yeah, not gonna let me do that, just a second. If we take a look at the number of stocks above their 200 day moving average, notice that the number of stocks above their 200 day has been falling pretty dramatically. And um, while that's going on, once again, let's do that really quick comparison here between the Diamond Spy and QQQ. Um, they're going higher, but the majority of stocks are, you know, um, not the majority, but a lot of stocks are below their 200 day moving average. So kind of a interesting dynamic there. And what that would suggest to me is if we do find a reason to stumble or pull back, just don't be too surprised if that stumble or pull back could be rather sharp and uh, kind of painful um in that move so just watch that carefully and closely should that occur let's take a look at our economic calendar for today and our economic calendar um, does have a few things that we want to pay attention to here um, notice that we have the job openings report here at 10 a.m that's the only thing that really will move have the opportunity to move the market around and we know that there's been way more job openings than folks willing to apply for jobs so we'll want to keep an eye on that um, we also have a couple fed speakers here today um, and we kind of have a parade of Fed speakers this week. And keep in mind, uh, Tuesday, productivity and costs. And the big number this week, I think, is going to be this CPI. We'll want to keep an eye on that on Wednesday. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now, our earnings calendar, pretty busy still, although we have probably the biggest group of market moving reports behind us we still have a big day we have over 200 companies listed on the calendar for today but there are a good deal of those that are unconfirmed reports small cap reports so you know that quite a few less than 200 honestly that are likely report but with that said we still have a pretty busy day of reports and if you want guys want to catch the full list of notable reports make sure you click that link just below the title of the video and that'll take you back to the morning blog where you can get those uh, those full that full list of notables but let's take a look at a couple of those this morning uh, DDD will be reporting today we we'll want to keep a close eye on this now if you look at this chart you can see a problem uh, possibly forming up here if this were to get a bad report we have a head and shoulders pattern here that could get ugly if we were to drop on an earnings report so kind of watch for that one we have PLNT on that list today PLNT Planet Fitness trying to well not much happening here and I just have to assume Planet Fitness will be struggling for a while as we recover from COVID and so many folks just kind of got out of the habit and started working out at home. So watch that closely. Um, we're also going to hear from Barry Gold. Uh, gold has been suffering uh, tremendously here recently and as you can see Barry Gold down here at a price support we would need to see some kind of report to put, pick that up off of there because if this fails here that's a big ugly space down below the next support level would be way down in here on Barry so keep a close eye on that. Um, ELY Callaway Golf will be reporting today. We're also going to hear from Dish Network. Keep a close eye on that. And last but not least, probably the bigger one today that might be interesting. Well, let's do two of these. Uh, TTD. A TTD might be an interesting report today, holding up in a beautiful upside trend, holding price support. It's a nice little consolidating pattern uh, to potentially move on higher from. And then um, when we start thinking about inflationary pressures, we might want to keep an eye here on Tyson. Looks like Tyson perking up here this morning. 
uh, pushing on through this downtrend. So this has been heavily sold here recently. Any rest or pullback now breaking that downtrend could set up an opportunity for the upside. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you find these videos to be worthy, to be helpful, if you could please do me a favor and click that thumbs up button, leave that brief comment, and that helps the algorithm continue to you know, show these videos to more folks. And um, also please, click that share button and share this video out on any of your social media feed that helps us continue to grow as well. And I just want to say thanks to everyone. You know, um, every day I, I ask kind of the same thing in here and I'm just always humbled by the kind responses, um, from folks. I truly appreciate the support to the channel, to the content of this channel. And I know it's not the sexy kind. It's not, and that's why I, I just really appreciate it. Um, no hype, no prediction, none of that kind of stuff in these charts or, or anything that I do. We look at the technicals and we look at how the charts are actually setting up. And thank you so much to those um, out there who support this. I, I really appreciate that. Let's, I also want to give a big shout out to those folks that have been supporting the channel with a buy me a coffee link that's just below the title of the video. Thank you so much to everyone who does do that. I, I can't even, I can't even tell you how much I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Let's take a look at a few stocks that are setting up and please keep in mind these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security and you have to do your own due diligence. You need to be making sure that these are trades that work for you, fit your risk tolerance, and you should never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade. Let's take a look at uh, BTU. Now, I know everyone loves to hate coal, but we have um, a really nice coal chart, and this has been moving up nicely in here. And now, I have a bias in here because I'm holding this trade, um, have a nice little profit um, in the position. And what I see in this chart is this opportunity where we broke out up here. We may rest into this consolidation a little bit, but then watch this one for that next opportunity to the upside. Uh, coal has been pretty strong and looking pretty good here. So keep a close eye on that. If you're looking for a potential, let's take a look um, at XLE. Now XLE had a nice push uh, Thursday and Friday back up, but I want you to notice that we're well below our 50 day moving average here. And though we push back up, we're looking pretty bearish here this morning. Notice that we're pushing down. Um, um, we see oil prices declining 3% this morning. So energy itself is having a little bit of trouble. And with that said, you might want to look at some energy stocks for some potential shorting positions or take a look at that drip on uh, DRIP. Now this is oil explore, exploration, but take a look at this. And I've been mentioning this um, the last few days. Um, we have that potential rounded bottom breakout pattern starting to happen here where we broke above that 50. We're holding this consolidation in here. And this is one of the patterns that I really like to trade a lot. And you can see um, we're seeing a little bit of bullishness coming up in here. This has been kind of slow to develop, but if we see oil kind of sink back or energy, um, if I take a look at XLE and we just put, put some moving average up, up here again. I think there is that possibility that energy could see that 200 day moving average here before long. That could be some nice upside profits in drip if you should want to trade an inverse ETF on that. So watch that one close. Um, other places that you might want to look, we had a really strong surge in um, financials um, on Friday pushing up here and as you can see the those financials really really broke through that 50-day moving average held up in here 
and we're getting a little bit of a pullback. Now let's take a look at some of the stocks that are, are of interest in here. Take a look at WFC. WFC broke through resistance to the upside. Notice that right in there. So any rest or pullback here in WFC could set up that opportunity to the upside. Maybe engage in this trend out here someplace. Take a look at Goldman. Goldman had a really nice push through, broke through resistance. It was a big surge. I don't know, I honestly don't know what brought that in. Um, but a big price action surge, surge. So now any rest or pullback that can hold support up here um, would suggest more upside on Goldman. And it's kind of interesting that, you know, we have like BAC. Now BAC had a nice rally back, but just right into its 50 day moving average. So we have kind of a mix in that financial sector. So you'll have to be, this is a stock pickers market. Um, so you'll want to uh, take a look at those stocks that are doing better, like Morgan Stanley pushing through to the upside. A couple other stocks that you might want to pay attention to. You guys know I've been keeping an eye on this Peloton and it really um, fell apart on Friday. So um, since I've been talking about it, I wanted to just cover this. I would probably stay away from this at the moment. You can see we we're breaking uh, this little trend. We're not holding up here. It would appear the fear of this um, uh, Delta variant that we hear in the news all the time is is not helping out Peloton here at the moment. So watch that closely. The only the only way I'd be, really be interested in this if this pops up here, and you'll want you'll want to keep in mind that it's going to report on 826. So that possibility does exist. Keep keep a close eye on that. Other places, um, it, it's been kind of remarkable um, how strong retail has been acting and um, particularly large retail. Um, WMT breaking through um, this resistance point. Nice surge to the upside. So now any rest or pullback sets up an opportunity here in WMT. Keep in mind it's going to report on the 17th. So you'll want to keep an eye on that. And we do have resistance above, but Walmart does have that tendency to rally toward earnings. So kind of keep an eye on that um, WMT looking good. And then if we look at other retailers, we just had uh, some amazing strength, strength in these retailers. Dollar General, Costco, um, just phenomenal strength. Um, I would be a little bit careful with them um, unless they consolidate like here in Target. We get a little consolidation, a little rest, and then I would look for that next upside opportunity. I wouldn't want to chase something to the upside like that. And then even stocks like, um, take a look at Canadian Goose. Canadian Goose has been struggling around here just a little bit. Um, trying to break through resistance here on Friday. I would keep an eye on that. If that can pop up, notice these are big, strong surges off of those lows. It is going to report on 811, so that could be a little bit of a problem here, but um, watch that. And then, of course, I'm going to mention UAA. This is a stock that I'm holding long term, and UAA is just like a rocket ship. Um, here the last few days, um, moving to the upside. So breaking through resistance in this chart and any rest or pullback, we get a consolidation, a rest or pullback in here could set up opportunity to the upside in UAA. So there's a few charts for you to kind of look at, decide whether they fit you or not. Hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day and I want to say thanks to everyone who does take the time to click those thumbs up buttons and leave those comments. I, I really appreciate it. Y'all take care. Have a great day. Wish you great success. And we'll see you right back here. Bright and early. Tuesday morning. Have a good one, everyone.